Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In today's increasingly complex battle space environments, effective protection against air defense system is critical for fighter jets. Though threat detection capabilities has improved, but there is a growing need for an active electronic warfare missile defense system. This is where the role of systems like X-Guard towed missiles becomes very crucial. The decoy solution helps in defeating advanced tracking radar including monopole and lobe on receive only radar types. Now as per reports, Indian Air Force is planning to equip Su-30 MKIs which forms its backbone with X-Guard fiber optic towed decoys. Indian Rafals are already equipped with these systems. The low drag and lightweight X-Guard can be used in all operational missions to counter air to air and surface to air missiles. It is owned behind the fighter aircraft and is deployed and retractable in mid-flight. X-Guard can be deployed either when the aircraft approaches a threatened area or upon detection of an imminent threat. The decoy can be integrated with electronic warfare suite of any platform as a high-level active suit component. In the retraction phase, the decoy is returned back to its position under the aircraft's wing and reconnect with the pylon. Now, Indian Su-30 MKI has already many other electronic warfare components in its inventory. Recently, an Indian Air Force Su-30 MKI was seen flying with two R-73 semi-active radar homing missile in its inner pylon, two R-27T infrared homing in its middle pylon and two R-73 in its outer pylon. Most noticeable was SAP-518 jamming pod. You can see two of them at the either side of the wing tip. You might be wondering why two jamming pods are needed. The two jamming pods have slightly different operational role. The RTO-518 PSM is used as a transmitter that is a jammer pod while the other pod which is RTO-518 LSM-1 is a receiver pod. While the RTO-518 PSM is thought to have an active jamming system, the RTO-518 LSM-1 is a passive receiver that looks for threatening electromagnetic spectral emission like those from adversaries' radars. The two detachable pods are part of SAP-518SM Active Electronic Countermeasure System. The SAP-518 is used to jam advanced air defenses during the ground attack missions, imitating the electronic signature of various aircrafts. It covers NATO surface-to-air and air-to-air -air threats in the GJ bands. The jamming pod is extremely effective against radars and EMRF missiles in its operating band of 5 to 18 GHz. The SAP-518 along with SAP-14 jamming pod is considered similar to United States ALQ-99 jamming system installed on EA-6B Prowler and EA-18G Growler electronic attack aircraft. The SAP-14 jamming pod does have some envelope limitation, so is with the Growler system. The Su-30 equipped with SAP-14 and two SAP-518 pods is famously called as Growlerski by some Westerners due to its immense electronic countermeasure capability. Indian Su-30 MKI have been spotted multiple times flying with these two pods integrated and is already in use by Air Force. Now, DRDO's DARE has also developed a high band jammer HBG pod for Su-30 MKI to be carried at the wingtips. HBJ can replace SAP-518 jamming pods in Su-30 MKIs. It is expected to have better integration with radar warning receiver on board than the existing SAP-518 pods. DARE has also started working on advanced self-protection jammer ASPJ which will feature a gallium nitride based solid state active electronically scanned array AESA jammer transmitters along with digital radio frequency memory DRFM. The DRFM based jammers are known for severely degrading adversaries radar and missile seekers. ASPJ is going to be a single pod unlike HBJ which is dual pod. The pod is going to feature in the upcoming next generation 4th to 5th generation fighters of Indian Air Force including TIS Mark II and AMCA. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.